Drive Ignition. This is Actar's Reviews from Anime to Figures and Beyond. Welcome to another Egg Task Figure Reviews. It's been a while, but I'm back with another Figma Figure Review as we take a look at, believe it or not, Figma Mari from the new movie Evangelion 2.0 slash 2.22, You Cannot Advance. For long-time collectors, when we think of small-scale action figures of the Evangelion girls, we think Fraulein Revoltex. And with the new movie, brand new Revoltex figures of the three main Evangelion girls have been released. However, it seems that Max Factory and Good Smart Company also wanted a piece of the Evangelion pie as they will be treating us with a whole series of Figma Evangelion girls starting off with Figma Mari. I would like to make two things clear before starting the review. I will not be actively comparing the Figma version and the Revotech version in this review because construction, details and accuracy wise, the Figma is superior, there is no doubt. Secondly, this review contains spoilers, what a surprise. I highly doubt that any Evangelion fan has yet to watch the movie, but I'm putting this spoiler warning out there just in case. And now for the proper review. Taking a look at the box, we have the Nerve signature hexagonal panels all around it, like a honeycomb-esque design. It's not bad, but I would have expected something more eye-popping, like uh, perhaps a black background with uh, red hexagons to create a better contrast. Figma Makinami Mari Illustrious plug suit version, product number 79. On the side of the box, we have Mari striking a very, very seductive pose. And on the back, the usual collage of pictures featuring the figure in various poses and the list of all the accessories that she comes with. That's pretty much all I can say about the box itself. Let's get it open and check out the contents. Like all other Figma figures, Figma Mari's cardboard backing comes with a cardboard punch out to decorate your D stage, though the design of this one seems rather uninspired. And here we have the illustrious Figma Mari. What can I say about her that hasn't already been said about nearly every other Figma figure? Excellent details, superb paint job, and solid build quality. Everything feels really good in hand, and the sculpting is very sharp. And they went as far as to not give Mari the usual hole on her back where the stand would usually peg into just to preserve her on-screen accuracy. And I really think that they should have done this with all Figma figures. Notice the intricately sculpted glasses that do a remarkable job in capturing her on-screen look very accurately. And speaking of her glasses, we actually have an undocumented feature here. Just like Figma Nodoka, her glasses are actually removable. They are made in a way that they clip to the inside of her hairpiece and are easily removable. It is this kind of attention to detail that I simply love about Figma figures. And now for the articulation, which is also a forte of the Figma figures. Her head can move up and down and side to side. Do note that her hair is made of soft, bendable PVC that allows her head articulation to remain unhindered. Figma Mari also boasts a brand new neck joint that allows her to achieve a whole new level of neck articulation. Her shoulders are double ball jointed and they can articulate once at the body itself and once at the shoulder itself. She can move her arms out and in. She can move her arms forwards and backwards and rotate her shoulders side to side. She can move her elbows forwards and backwards and rotate side to side at the upper arm. Her hands can rotate side to side and move forwards and backwards though they are slightly hindered by her big cuffs. Her upper chest joint is simply amazing. It can rotate side to side up and down and it's so smooth and not only that no matter what pose you decide to leave her in it looks extraordinarily natural and here's how the chest joint looks from the back unfortunately there is no waist joint on figma mari but i can understand that some articulation had to be compromised to retain the sleek look of her plug suit her legs can move forwards and backwards in and out and rotate side to side standard figma fair her knees can move forwards and backwards and as for her feet they can move forwards and backwards rotate side to side and swivel side to side as well and with the articulation out of the way, we come to the accessories. Figma basics include the three-jointed stand and base, and Ziploc plastic bag that's exceedingly useful for keeping all your pesky accessories in order. 
For Figma Mari, a waist clip is also included as she doesn't have any hole on her back. We also have a whole host of exchangeable hands that range from splayed open to a regular palm to another exchangeable hand that will come in handy later on. Next up is an exchangeable back hair piece to have her ponytails hang over her shoulders. To exchange her back hair piece, you first have to pop off her head, remove her front hair piece and face piece, reattach them to the other hair piece and reattach her head. In addition to the calm expression that she already wears on her face, two exchangeable face pieces are provided, one with a serious battle expression and another for use during Zabisto. And on the topic of Zabisto, when Mari activates it in the movie, all the lights on her entry plug glow green. In particular, the one on her chest and the ones on the cuffs. When I first bought the figure, I was under the impression that her lights were unchangeable. Imagine my utter surprise when I realized, upon opening the figure, that her lights were indeed exchangeable. To go about exchanging the lights, we first have to rotate her upper body 90 degrees to the side to allow enough clearance to access the chest light. Using your fingernail or a sharp object, simply pop the red light out and replace it with the green one. And as for the lights on her wrists, all we have to do is to pop her hands off and swap them. Just as a word of warning, these chest lights are minuscule. They are practically microscopic. Trust me, these are going to go missing in the first chance they get. And since you're not given extras, don't give them that chance. For the final accessory, I tried my best to avoid talking about this during the beginning of the video as much as possible, but it's doubtless that you've already seen it. Yep, that giant accessory that's included with Figma Mari is the pilot seat from the Evangelion's entry plug. Aside from several figures and an entry plug replica, we have never really gotten a good representation of it. And by good representation, I mean one with all the bells and whistles, like articulation. It requires some simple assembly straight out of the box. Just pack in the headrest. And these, uh, I, I have no idea what to call these, uh, joysticks, handlebars, yokes, I'll, I'll just go with handles, just plug in these handles, and you're done. And in terms of articulation, the handlebars can move up and down, and it's on a ball joint, so it can move all the way around. There is a single joint here, so you can move forwards and back. And as for here, it's on a regular Figma joint, so you can move all the way around, rotate side to side, and rotate side to side at the uh, handle itself. Strangely enough, the two sides of the uh, pilot seat also has articulation outwards and up and down. Uh, whether the actual pilot seat affords such movement is unknown to me, but I guess extra articulation can't hurt. The headrest can also rotate side to side, though I have no idea whether this is an intended joint or not. Needless to say, the details are great and it looks spot on. To attach Mari to the entry plug, we first have to remove this back panel and plug the waist clip in it. The regular stand plugs in from the back and attaches to the waist clip. A secondary stand that packs into another hole on the entry plug's pilot seat for added support is also provided. For Figma Mari, we need to use the hair piece that has a hair falling in front of her. We also need to exchange her hands to the ones that are specially made for grasping the handles. With the combination of the two stands, we are able to angle the entry plug pilot seat into any angle that we want to recreate any scene. Of course, the waist clip isn't necessary if you choose not to use it. It's mainly for securing Mari in place. And in case you're unsure of what to do, don't fret because a series of instruction sheets are provided to guide you along. In conclusion, I'm glad that Good Smart Company and Max Factory decided to venture into the Evangelion line because this way, we are treated with a phenomenal series of small-scale action figures of the Evangelion girls that have magnificent accuracy, phenomenal articulation and outstanding accessories. Some might be annoyed at the competition that Reveltech is receiving what with the robot damashis and figmas coming out with superior figures of the same characters. However, it is us collectors who benefits from all this competition. As figure companies try to outdo each other, we receive better and better quality figures and I'm definitely not complaining about that. However, with so many figure representations out there of the same character, as a collector, it is important to know which version has the most to offer. My vote is for the Figma version. 
Go pick it up if you're an Evangelion fan and haven't already done so. You won't be disappointed. And even if, for some inexplicable reason, you end up disliking the figure, you'll at least have an amazing entry plug pilot seat. So, this actor saying, see you guys in the next episode.